Now this. Well, that's a pop song. I'm Elvis Presley. Here is Elvis. Welcome to the Elvis Presley Special. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Elvis Presley Show. A few weeks ago, I managed to get my hands on a pair of new old stock Neo style Nautic sunglasses from the 1970s. These sunglasses come from the exact same mold as the glasses that Elvis wore from approximately 1974 onward. Elvis initially bought some from his optician Dennis Roberts as sunglasses, but not shortly afterwards he had some converted into prescription glasses using tinted glasses. As you may know, these glasses are currently being recreated by NeoStyle. I also bought a replica, see NeoStyle's invoice here, which coincidentally bears the invoice date of August 16. That can hardly be a coincidence. In this video I want to show you the differences because is this a 100% exact replica, as NeoStyle claims, or are there differences? Stay tuned for an answer to this question. The first thing you notice and what I unfortunately cannot let you experience is the weight. Nowadays a pair of lightweight sunglasses, the one you are currently wearing for instance, weighs between 20 to 40 grams. The replica Neostyle Nautic weighs 48 grams. Now brace yourself. The original has a frame that is completely made out of metal and contains heavy mineral glasses and weighs a whopping 70 grams. What is striking is the position of the arms. In the original they are only slightly bent at the end, where the arms in the replica taper strongly inwards. The height of the arm of the original is 80 mm and the replica has, has it at 17 mm, so 1 mm less, so to speak. You can immediately tell whether you are dealing with an original or a replica by looking at the hinges. With the original you see a relatively thick screw and you feel no spring. With the replica you see a tiny screw and ditto hinge and you feel the spring working when the temple is being opened. When looking at the glasses from the front you immediately notice that the bridge on the original is brushed. This corresponds for example to Elvis's glasses that were auctioned in recent years. The bridge of the replica has no brushing and looks smooth. The bridge of the replica has a wavy pattern where the original does not have that and has a stronger bridge shape. Furthermore, it is noticeable and I find this very disturbing that the replica is less high than the original. I don't have high quality measuring equipment but with this ruler it still is clearly visible. In this shot you can also see that the position of the arms is higher on the original than on the replica. Finally we also take a look at the shape of the glasses. In the original the glasses are relatively straight at the top, but in the replica the glasses slope upwards from the side to the bridge. My conclusion is therefore that NeoStyle has moved away from making a 100% identical replica, but that the model has been slightly adapted to the sunglasses trends of the 21st century. From a distance it looks nice, but honestly it lacks the class and quality of the original. The only advantage I have discovered about the replica is the weight. Make no mistake that the original was very heavy for Elvis to wear. But hey, it's not without reason that they say no pain, no gain.